Welcome back to my channel. Let's solve for x. Let's evaluate this without the use of a calculator. Okay, because I'm not going to use calculator, we're going to simplify this as much as possible. Okay, now 8 to the power of 5 can be written as 8 to the power of 4 plus 1. Okay, looking at this so that I can be able to factorize that. So plus 8 to the power of 4. Plus 8 to the power of, what can I do to get 2 from 3? That should be 2 plus 1, right? 2 plus 1 plus 8 to the power of 2 plus 8 to the power of 1 plus 8 to the power of 0. Alright, now remember according to the law of exponent that 8 to the power of m plus n is equal to 8 to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So that means that this can be expressed as 8 to the power of 4 multiplied by 8 to the power of 1 plus 8 to the power of 4 plus this can be expressed as 8 to the power of 2 multiplied by 8 to the power of 1 plus 8 to the power of 2, all right? Then plus 8 to the power of 1 is 8 and 8 to the power of 0 is 1. Yes, any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. I have a proof of that on this channel. So you can go ahead and look for it and then see why. Or oh, I'm going to attach it here as, as end screen. Okay, now look at what we have. Notice that we have 8 to the power of 4 here and 8 to the power of 4 here. So we factorize that out. So bring out 8 to the power of 4. Now, 8 to the power of 4 multiplied by 8 to the power of 1 divided by 8 to the power of 4 will give us 8 to the power of 1. Plus, 8 to the power of 4 divided by itself will give us 1. Plus, now here we have 8 to the power of 2 as common factor. So, we write that 8 to the power of 2. When this is divided by 8 to the power of 2, 8 to the power of 1 remain, right? Plus, when this is divided by itself, 1 will be the answer. Plus 8 plus 1 will give us 9. Now let's factorize further. We have 8 to the power of 4 bracket 9 plus 8 to the power of 2 bracket 9 plus 9. All right. Now, if this is the first time you are seeing us, click the subscription button, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos. We upload our videos every day. So, at your convenience, tune in to watch our new uploads. Give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed this video. Thank you. Now we have 8 to the power of 4. We have 9. We have 9 and we have 9. We can factorize 9 out. Okay. So, we bring 9 out. This divided by this will give you 8 to the power of 4 plus. This divided by 9 will give us 8 to the power of 2. Plus 9 divided by itself will give us 1. So, this is what we have right now. All right. Now, remember that we are not going to make use of a calculator. So, we need to simplify this further. So, what we now have is 9 brackets. 8 to the power of 4 can be expressed as 8 to the power of 2 plus 2, right? Plus 8 to the power of 2 plus 1. All right. So, using the law of exponent as usual, we are going to simplify this further as 9 brackets. 8 to the power of 2 multiplied by 8 to the power of 2 plus 8 to the power of 2 plus 1. One. So now we have 9 into, we can factorize 8 to the power of 2 from here. So we bring out 8 to the power of 2, brackets. When this, excuse me, 8 to the power of 2, brackets. When this is divided by 8 to the power of 2, we have 1 8 to the power of 2 remaining. Plus, when this is divided by itself, we have 1. Then plus 1 again, all right? All right, now we have 9 into... Remember that 8 to the power of 2 is equal to 64. So we have 64 brackets, 64 plus 1 plus 1, okay? So we have 9 into 64 multiplied by, this is 65, plus 1. All right, this is really interesting. Now let's simplify this further. 64 is the same thing as 60 plus 4, and 65 is the same thing as 60 plus 5. So we have 9 into 60 plus 4 multiplied by 60 plus 5 plus 1. Okay? All right. Um, let me clean this. Let me clean this side more. Okay? So this is what we have. 9 into, so 60 times 60. That is what we are going to do. 60 times 60 plus 60 times 5. 60 times 5 plus 4 times 60 plus 4 times 60 
plus 4 times 5 plus 4 times 5. All right, then plus 1. All right. Now we have 9 into 60 times 60 is 3,600. 60 times 5 is 300. 4 times 60 is 240. 4 times 5 is 20. All right. Then plus 1. All right. Now let's solve this. 3,600 3, plus 300 will give us 3,900, right? Now, 3,900 plus 240 plus 20 will give us 260 plus 1 will give us 261. So, let's add. We have 1, we have 6, 11 carry 1. So, we have 4161, okay? 4161. So, we have... 9 into 4161. Now, 9 can be expressed as 10 minus 1. So we have 10 minus 1 multiplied by 4161, which we give us. Now, this is interesting for the fact that we are doing this without the use of a calculator, okay? All right, now 10 times 4161 times 10 we give us 41610, okay? Minus 4161 times 1 is 4161. Now, let's solve. We have 41610 minus 4161. Now, 10 minus this will give us 9. 0 is there, right? 10 minus 6 will give us 4. And 5 minus 1 will give us 4. 11 minus 4 will give us... um. We give us seven, right? Yeah. Then we have three. So this becomes our final answer without calculator. I'm happy you watched to the end. Thank you so much, and.